So, let's give a huge welcome to the Head of Digital Business Strategy and Customer Experience for Audi AG, Niels Walmy. Good morning, how are you? It's such an honor to be here today. Um, I had some great times here the last 48 hours, it was just amazing. Great talks, great people. Um, such a pleasure to be here today. And uh, being 35 years old, I exceeded the expiration date of a one young world leader by five years, but uh, still amongst the Audi management, I'm still one of the youngest guys taking care of the future topic of digitalization at Audi. And I have to tell you, it's uh, a lot of fun. Um, when I started working at Audi last year, shortly after, um, very bad news came out. And um, there were some horrible mistakes made in the past. And to be very, very honest with you, I was so sad, I was so disappointed, I was so angry at that time because I always wanted to work for Audi and finally I made it, I started working with Audi and then this news broke out. And um, shortly after I realized that this potentially is even the biggest opportunity to make some major changes in the automotive industry. So, and I was right because uh, there were many, many other people at Audi that felt the same and it unleashed so much energy for change that was incredible to see. Even our board members, they, they forced really a new strategy. So, and our new strategy came out um, a, few, a few months after this and um, it's focusing basically on three major topics. Digitalization, sustainability and urbanization. And, of course, what happens if you have these three topics? You'll do fully electric, fully connected, autonomously driving cars. But that's just the product side to it. I was even more happy when I saw that we worked on our new brand strategy and at the core of our brand is no longer a pure marketing positioning sentence. It's a real purpose how we will change the Audi brand in the next years. So, we enable more personal freedom. That's the purpose we all strive for at Audi. And to be very, very honest, I'm so happy every day to start working or work at Audi to make this promise come true in the next years. And one of the core technologies to make this promise really happening or become really a uh, reality is the technology of piloted driving. And uh, last year I had the chance to ride in one of our prototypes that are out there because we test piloted driving on racetracks and on roads and you really have to experience this, how a car drives by itself to feel the, the potential, the energy to change a lot of the things how mobility is perceived today. And really to have this experience, you see the potential of the technology, even though this is just a technology carrier. It's not a fully electric car yet, but to feel this car driving around a racetrack under extreme conditions, you see the potential of this technology. And if you drive with one of these cars on the autobahn or within the city environment, you really feel how this will change, how piloted driving will change mobility in the future. So talking about the different advantages piloted driving has. Of course, it brings you more comfort because be very honest with yourself, there's not much driving pleasure in waiting in a traffic jam or looking for a parking space. Um, so if you're in the situation of a traffic jam, just keep off your hands. The car drives itself will bring more comfort. But even more importantly, it will bring more safety. Because if you look at the statistics today, 95% of all accidents in traffic are caused by human error. So with this technology, we will potentially avoid all the death that is caused by traffic accidents. And this will have a major, major impact on society as well. 
It brings more flexibility as well, because there is a study by the Columbia University that was made uh, a few years ago, estimating if you would reduce the number of yellow caps in New York City from 13,000 down to 9,000, and they drive fully autonomously, it brings down the waiting time of five minutes down to 36 seconds. So this changes less cars, less waiting time, it changes a lot how um, we will experience mobility in the future. It brings more efficiency as well, because if you imagine a small a smart grid of mobility uh, devices, um, how they adjust to streets, to road conditions, adjust their energy supply to this, talk to each other, avoid uh, tr uh, crowded roads and so on. This brings a lot more efficiency to mobility as well. As you have seen, it can be fun. But the most important thing, and that's the one I'd like to talk about today a bit more, is it will bring you more time. Because still in the Western world, people operate their car for one hour per day, driving to work, driving to school, driving to university, driving to the supermarket. Just imagine this one hour is given back to you. So that's why we call it the extra hour or the 25th hour. We've learned two days ago from Siemens that we all should use the 24 hours we have per day wisely. So now you have an extra hour you can use for your daily work or for the challenges you are looking at. So, but this has an impact on behavior. Having an extra hour each day has a huge impact on behavior. Because we will do other things at this time. We can work, we can... Um, look at projects, we, we can talk to other people, have meetings in the car, but this will also influence how cars will be designed. Cars won't look like they look today. And it has an impact on business as well, because 95% of the day our cars remain unused. If you operate your car one hour per day, 23 hours it's just parked somewhere. It's blocking some space. So our cars will do other things as well. So while you're at college or while you're at work, it might deliver some packages. So this will influence also the industry of logistics heavily. Autonomous technology will influence or maybe even disrupt the transportation sector significantly. It will influence our industry. I'm very, very happy if we focus less on volume, selling cars, much more on the value we are creating. So it will influence our industry. We'll sell less cars, potentially. We'll let sell less spare parts, potentially, because our cars do not have any accidents anymore. But we'll create more value. It will have an impact on the finance and insurance business, because you don't need this type of car insurance you're having today, and you Needs, need different kinds of financing your mobility. And it will have a significant impact on the public sector as well. And this is something um, I, I really enjoy seeing in the future. Because if you look down the streets, there are so many cars parked there. You can use the space otherwise. If you look at the different uh, parking lots that are created within the city center, if you have less cars, if they drive around in a smart grid, you'll, you'll um, use less of the space for the cars, and you can create apartments, you can create parks, you can use the space in a much more valuable way. It will have an impact on the travel industry as well because there are many domestic flights and it will take, still take a while until planes are being fully electric. So why not taking an overnight shuttle on demand, taking you somewhere fully electric instead of taking a domestic flight? And last but not least, it will have an impact on entertainment, real estate, and retail business because you don't have to go somewhere in many cases. You just order the store and it comes to you and you select um, the stuff you like. So all I wanted to, to say is the technology is on its way. In many cases, very, very fast. In some other cases, maybe a bit slower. But at, <laughs> but at the end of the day, what really counts, I strongly believe that piloted driving will become the heartbeat of our future society because it will change so many aspects. And hopefully, that's my personal opinion, as Audi will provide much more mobility to people that are not able today to experience mobility. 
piloted driving will also help elderly or um, disabled people to experience this. And that's why I strongly believe in this technology and this will be the major change we will see in the next years. So in that sense, welcome challenges and welcome changes and welcome change makers. So hopefully I see many of you at Audi one day and uh, let's shape Vorsprung durch Technik together. Thank you.